friends, this is the Paper Chef here. Welcome to part three of my unboxing of this holiday catalog. It's actually called the August to December 21 holiday catalog. I already opened up this paper. I'm going to go sheets again because I got cut off. But we are troopers and we're coming back. So I'll go over the coordinating colors of this Blackberry Bliss designer series paper. I'm going to show our Blackberry Beauty, not Blackberry Bliss, Blackberry Beauty. Specialty Designer Series paper in this video. I'm going to show you some products that coordinate with it. I'm going to show you where in the catalog it's found, where in the holiday catalog it's found. We're going to go over the Gingerbread and Peppermint Memories and More card pack. I didn't have all these during the regular unboxings because they came, these products came in after the catalog launched. So I'm able to get those products now. We're going to open those up and craft with them. We'll make some, we'll decorate some of my crafts that I've started. Uh, furthermore, I have a lot of clearance products to show you that are still on clearance as of today. So if you missed my recent video, I just went live on YouTube and did and showed you how to create these cards featuring the pine cones, Christmas pine cones dies. And this one's in embossed background. This is the Thinking Thanks and Peace stamp set. I showed you start to finish how to make this card, emboss the background, die cut the pine cones and the pine needles. I showed you how to use the Expressions in Ink Designer Series paper to stamp right onto it. These are seasonal labeled styes, Christmas pine cone styes, wonderful gems. They're actually called wonderful gems, not just because they're wonderful. And we created these two cards start to finish. And then this one I haven't mounted. I'm just trying to think like, do I want to mount this as a card background? Do I want to use it as three different elements? Okay, depends. So thank you guys that are coming back on to catch me again. So what I did is, so when you get a phone call, uh, just so you know, your screen goes black, black when you're going live on YouTube. There's so many things I'm still learning. I hardly ever get phone calls, obviously, because I wouldn't even have had to worry about this. And the few times I have, my screen didn't usually just go off like that. But um, what I did is I did a few things. I looked up, I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos myself. So one of the YouTube videos said to turn off some kind of motion setting, and I did that because it's something about the motion in the front of our phone. And then it said something about turn, a couple other settings it said to turn off. And then I just thought, well, why not just do not disturb? So then I was like, why don't I just do that? So instead of trying to do all these settings about when you get a phone call, it going black, I just thought, I just turned on do not disturb. And now nobody will disturb me. And that's even better. That's even better than trying to, to worry about the screen going black. All right, so I've already opened this pack, but we'll go through it all again because I'm starting the video again. And it is... Blackberry Beauty Specialty Designer Series paper. Specialty papers are not the normal $11.50. They are, they are $15. And it talks about the coordinating colors here on this page in your catalog. It's page 45. The Blackberry Beauty Designer Series paper is part of a whole suite of products called the Blackberry Beauty Suite Collection. And so the coordinating colors in this suite collection are Polished Pink, Blackberry Bliss, Rich Razzleberry, Early Espresso, Cinnamon Cider, and then Gold. It has gold foiling in it, which is really nice. I'm going to show you these papers, and then I'll take out, which I've already opened, this Blackberry Beauty Ephemera pack. And I may have, let's see if I have any shimmer vellum in here. I'm just working on the shares now. I don't have that kind of shimmer vellum, but, I mean, I think I do, but I don't have it here. But I do have, like, shimmer vellum from other colors, like the in-color shimmer vellums. Shimmer vellums are gorgeous, so there's a gold shimmer vellum in here. In this pack, there's some ribbon. It's all good. So let's look at the paper. It's 12 by 12. You get 12 sheets of double-sided 12 by 12. And so here's one side of the paper. And you can imagine all that you can do with this. And there's the early espresso side. I think this will be nice for coloring, or not coloring, but covering, covering coffee cups and things, right? Okay, now there's, here's some nice birds, which I don't know what kind of birds these are, but these are really beautiful birds. And the shimmer. Okay, here's the other side of this paper. Simply gorgeous, right? This is my favorite sheet, so I'm going to put this sheet at the front of my paper share. I package paper shares, by the way, with, with six by six. So I'll show you that in, maybe later in this broadcast how I how I package paper shares. I cut them up and you get a quarter of a pack of paper. You'll get 12 six by six sheets. 
of the different papers. This will be part of my holiday deluxe paper share. I love the texture on this. These aren't even my favorite colors, like purple. When I was younger, purple was a favorite color, but like these aren't even my favorite colors, but I just love this paper because I love anything with bling. See, look at the, these owls. Look at the face of those owls and the details on those. It's gorgeous. That's the other side of that. Oh, wait, is it the other side? No, this is it. This is a new piece because one, only one side is foiled on this paper. And then these look like little twigs, little bones. These will be good for any kind of nature scene background. And then lastly, we have, actually, I'll keep this piece. I'll keep this piece on the bottom when we do the ephemera because that'll be a nice background piece. So this piece and you have this piece. That's your last two pieces. So we're going to keep this one on the background as I show you the ephemera pack. So what is an ephemera pack? It's just a nice, fun pack of, I just call it a pack of crafty goodness. If you don't want to make all your own crafty goodness all the time by die cutting, using scan and cut, using stickers, I mean, it comes with, there's ephemera pack. So you just take it out and see what's in it. So I've already given some away, but let's, let's see what's in the whole pack. Let's just pop a couple of these babies out. These are awesome. So instant cards. In fact, one of the swaps that I'll show you soon featured the ephemera pack because we were able to get this ahead of time, but we weren't able to get the actual DSP. But we were able to get, like, I think the whole rest of the suite was available to us. So some have started crafting with these. And I think these all need to be covered with Wink Stella, personally, for some extra bling. So you could... You could just use these and then you could use, if you want to put a little shadow and a color in the background, what you could do is put this on your card, save these, right? Put this on your card. Maybe we'll try that sometime. That'd be fun. And just kind of ink that up with your blending brush. Okay, here's a blending brush. Not one of the coordinating colors, but get what I'm doing. You get your blending brush and you do all that and then replace the ephemera, right? And you'd have a little bit of color behind those. Right, And if you want a halo effect, then you can move the stencil or just use your scan and cut to make a bigger stencil. You can move it around and have a halo effect, but I think that would be neat to have a little color in the background of that. Um, see what other pack. That's another sheet of that. So you get two sheets of this one, and then you get the gold, two sheets of this gold one. So I find these are just, so for to me, for the, for the low prices of these ephemera packs, there's also one that goes with expressions in ink. I find it's just way better than trying to cut these because, you know, the time it takes you to die cut, the de the intricacy, the foil, the time. I mean, these are just already made for you. I like getting these whenever I can because just, just instant cards, right? You can cut these apart and use them for other things, too. Okay, and then you get these giant tags. So you have a sheet, a sheet of those. Or two sheets. I'm sorry, two sheets of those. Okay, and let's see what else we have. This is. I'm thinking there were two sheets of this too. Let's see. Does it say how many sheets? It just says 40. 40 things in the ephemera pack. So I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure there was a sheet that I've already popped out of this. So you got your little frames, and then you can use this for something. You can use this one for something. Be careful because this is foil, so I'm kind of bending it as I do this. Kind of release those. And what I like to do, lastly, before we move on to the gingerbread. Okay, when I take when I get ephemera and stuff like that, I don't like how there's these little nibs. See the little nibs from where it was laser cut. So what I like to do is I like to take my snips and get in there, and then it makes it look like you die cut it. Because when you die cut you don't get these little nibs. And you could, of course, use a nail file as well. Okay, so that's, that's the ephemera pack. And, of course, there's a stamp set and there's other things, but I'm, I'm just going to work with the paper because I have a lo lot of other stamps. I think I'll do some autumn things like this some thank you cards with this we'll do something maybe i might ink it up all right so we're done with the blackberry beauty suite and now i'm going to move on to in this unboxing the gingerbread and peppermint 
sweet now which is earlier in the catalog and I'll clear off my clear off my table a little bit here so this is so exciting because this sweet is so cute and not only that I have retired things that will go with this too I mean who doesn't love the little gingerbread man it's called the cookie cutter punch or something from years ago if anyone still has that I mean that's going to be cute we're making putting little gingerbread men on these things so this sweet just if you recall I have already showed you the decorative mask in one of my unboxings I've already shown you the acrylic acrylic shapes here and I don't I just grabbed out the other things in case I hadn't shown them yet so what I want to do I don't really I don't think I have the craft paper I have this oh yeah I have the craft paper I have these I thought these boxes were part of the suite when I grabbed it but they're actually maybe over here maybe they're not they're actually in this next page these boxes they're called craft boxes but they go great with this suite too because you can put cookies in this box so we have these little craft boxes we have craft paper you can die cut this craft paper okay a nice and thick card nice thick cardstock you can ink on it make your own card backgrounds okay but here's what I'm saying this is the gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper so before I open the brand new things we'll just look at that paper before I open these in case you missed this paper it's double-sided so when we get back to that sheet we'll just flip over the whole stack there are 12 different design 12 different sheets so you get 24 designs in this one they're already cut to six by six this designer series paper so you get 48 sheets and there's 12 so it repeats the paper the patterns repeat themselves four times so on your 12 sheets, which I'm missing a couple here because I've been using so many of them on your 12 sheets you're going to get repeated patterns I mean, you're going to get four in your pack of 48, I should say, you're going to get a stack of 12, like I'm showing you, but it's probably 11 or 10. Then you're going to get the patterns are going to repeat themselves. So you'll get four stacks of 12. And in those four stacks, there's 24 designs. I hope that makes sense because it's already cut six by six. This gingerbread and peppermint sweet has dyes to go with it. And nice, like, like nice fun background. So the here's the, uh, Pretty pillow box dies I've shown before. I I don't know if I've shown the ribbon before, but it's adorable. Let's see if it's laying here, I'll show it to you. Just so many. You can only fit so much on your table. That's all, it's all good. I won't show you. Maybe it's in my box. Here it is. Okay, here it is. I pulled that little piece out. Super cute. Ribbon. Okay, and now acrylic shapes. They're part of the deluxe share. Now I'm gonna show you the Memories and more packs. So what's a memories and more pack? These are like a way of making instant cards for the holidays. And I love using them for thank you cards for customers. And just, I just love using them because they're simple. Did I just cut into one of them? There are 20 in here. I like having cards and envelopes. Readily available. I usually do a Christmas letter and don't write cards to all my friends and family. But I put my letter inside something and I like putting it inside this and giving them a card that you can easily decorate. So here are the envelopes. These are actually called memories and more cards and envelopes. And you're gonna see why, because memories and more, it means you could do it for memories like scrapbooking, or you can use these things for it, but memories and more means you can make more, you can make cards of these. So you get 20 envelopes and 20 cards. So isn't that nice, a little frost, frosting on them? They're craft, pretty thick, heavy duty. Let's see how these are. These are thicker than last year, so I'm happy about that, because I remember saying something last year about the cards weren't super thick and these are these are better and super cute right so this is what I thought we would decorate one what you do is you're going to take a spatula let me find a spatula this is just my paper chef stone and we're going to fold it and we're going to go ahead and put it usually I put it up against the side of the scoreboard but let's just do this okay let's just let's just use this paper Okay, so you always do that, burnish your edges. And now we're gonna get 20 cards like this. Let's see if they're all the same. Okay, I'm just opening this from the first time, so this is cool. And now we'll open the card pack and we'll make a card or something. Well, and then I can show you what, and we'll decorate, we'll see what's in here. I don't even know what's in the card pack. But we can make a card and then we can also do this. I've already made these because I love folding paper. I love making diaper folds, but they need something. They need a little sentiment. 
a gingerbread man. They need like, they need something, right? Cookie. These are going to have like a tea bag in them or a Ghirardelli chocolate. So this one I, I ripped a little, so that one I definitely have to cover up. See, and the, it kind of showcases the design shares paper. So let's decorate a couple of those too while we're at it. All right, where are my memories and more cards? And stickers and envelopes. Let's get them. Here we go. I bought I bought a couple packs of these because, well, I was afraid they were going to run out because it, it, took in, it had taken so long. We didn't run out though, don't worry. But it took so long to get these products. They came in after the catalog launched and I was like, you know what? I'm getting a couple packs of these. So I bought two packs of these and then a bunch of packs of the Blackberry Beauty Designer Series paper because I thought that's going to be like selling like hotcakes. Once we get something, it's hard to, or once we run out of something, it's hard to get things in the shipments very quickly. This is called Jim, Gingerbread and Peppermint Memories and More Card Pack. And I just want to say hi to some of you. Tilt my light a little bit so I can read my screen. All right. So, yes, I'm back. <laughs> so Pamela said, good evening from Colorado. Okay, well, stay as long as you can. That's cool. Just going to try to stay with Yvonne. Yeah, it wasn't your internet. It was, I, it, when I got a phone call, Yvonne, I got knocked off. That's what happened. But now I turned on Do Not Disturb. So that's good. And J Cindy, thanks for looking for me again and finding me. And Katie, it wasn't your internet. It was me. Hello, Louise from Canada. So these are adorable. These are little cookie. Let's put these on something. Cookie drying racks or cook yeah cooling racks so you could just cut out the little cookies and put them on your rack or I mean we could do other things with these I'm looking these these could be the front of a suitcase <laughs> you know I mean these these could be lattice work of just good backgrounds you cut off these little top parts I mean you could probably do something with those other than cookie drying racks super cool so there's six of those Okay, let's look at the memories and more cards. Oh, fun. It's like Christmas. Okay, memories in the making. So it looks like you're getting six of each one. And some fun little garland. Okay. The next part is happy or holiday happenings. And you can stamp your sentiment right in there. And the other side would be some nice real red striped cards. Okay, nice. And let's turn these over so you have something to look at. So you can see all the different patterns why we put this there. Let's look at this one. Made with love. Now, we do have a suite of products. So what you can tell is that the font on this Memories and More card is the same as the font in the catalog. That same font, which is really nice. So Katie's saying she likes the Gingerbread Memories and More. So do I, right? I like all Memories and More packs. I'm going to show you one that's on clearance too. Super cool. Okay, so I'll show you. Put that there. Okay. It's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. Okay. Now we're talking. We love cookies, right? Beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. And this fun thing that matches the DSP. So we'll turn one of those over and we'll lay that down there. And we have this piece here. And, okay, this is a good recipe card. My mom's always giving out her recipes. I, or just a note. I think I think I can use these for thank you notes for customers. How fun! Thank you for your order. I like I like having a note inside a Christmas tree. Okay, that's fun. Put that over there. Your sugar and spice and everything nice. So we do sell, although there, you get the twenty cards that come in this pack, right? The gingerbread and peppermint cards. We also sell what's called the memories and more card pack, and in those you get the three by four cards and you get four by six cards, that's these, or like four and a quarter by six and a quarter, whatever, right? But you, these cards in here are four by six. These are going to fit with the ones we're going to, we're going to throw one together and make one or at least one. And then these cards go good with our three by four cards, sugar and spice and everything nice. Okay, fun, fun. Okay, stickers, now we're talking. So my stickers can be used for my, my little treat pouches, right? So instant treat pouches. Happy about that. Mittens, um, stuff for baking. I mean, this is wonderful. Borders, silver snowflakes. I mean, who doesn't love these stickers? Okay, so great stickers. And then we have more stickers that say, your friendship makes the season sweeter. 
All right, here we go. That's how I'm decorating my pouch. La! Okay, let's see. We need to contrast, so not that one. This one will be good, right? Because the contrast. You need contrast when you use this kind of color. You can't put this, you can't put this one on there because there's not enough contrast, right? And if you really want this to pop, you could put this in your scan and cut and make a bigger outline as well. But I think it's just going to go good just like that. Your friendship makes the season sweeter. You put your Ghirardelli chocolate in there or some candy, and that pouch is done. Done. Voila. Okay, let's see. Merriest Christmas. Let's see. Let's decorate. No contrast. Okay, this one could work for the Merriest Christmas, or this one, but because this has a red border. So let's try the red border. Bada boom. Bada boom. Okay, so you know how to make diaper folds if you've been following my channel, but if not, I'll do this again at some point. I always do it again. And these stickers are great. I, I like instant sentiments that make it look like I did all this work. All right, now, I told you we're going to make a card. So we've already folded this. So now we can make a card. Now we have two choices. We can either make a card by taking one of these, and there's your instant card. Or you could, which I don't know if I want to do, you could take this and put this on here. But then you would like be covering up the cutest part of the card, right? You'd be covering up the cutest part. So I'm thinking more like, you know, sugar and spice and everything nice, or it's beginning to look a lot like Chris, taste a lot like Christmas, in which case we could find if there's any cookies in here. Yes, these have some cookies. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay, this. Okay, here's what, here's the card. We're going to make an instant card. Okay, we get this little piece of foil out and we'll put this there and we'll put some cookies on here. So let's take, that way we get the, we get the cute background border, right? We're not, if we use this kind of card, we cover, we're covering it up. So just use whatever, use, you can use adhesive, you can use, here, we don't even need to use adhesive. We have seal, we have seal plus, right? Bada boom, bada boom, done. Instant card. I'm not ashamed to make easy cards, you saw all my other cards. So you can make an easy card and make your life easy and it'll make someone very happy. Or you can spend hours on cards if you want and make cards like, make card backgrounds like the one I told you about earlier, right? It's up to you. But I think let's, let's do some easy cards. Let's have some fun, right? We'll put a little mitten down here. Okay, it's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. We'll put some Christmas cookies around, uh, around here. Oops, that's already a tree there. So we don't want to put a tree right there. We'll put a tree up here. I think I'll put the tree straight. But I'll put the other cookies kind of crooked. Let's put these cookies down here. Not crooked, but just kind of down here like this. And this. And then we need a third one with a third element there. There you go. Wink Estella. Always got a Wink Estella. That's just adding some glitter to the glove. Now this doesn't need any glitter on it because they're already made of silver foil. But go ahead and put glitter on this Christmas tree in the middle and on the sentiment itself so it makes it look like you did some stamping. Someone's not going to know the difference that you didn't stamp this yourself if they're not a stamper. If they're a stamper, they're going to admire your, your thriftiness. And they're going to admire the ease in which you made them something that made them feel good. Nobody's judging. You just make cards to make people feel good, and that's the point. Our biggest critics are ourselves. But you send this to people, they would be very happy. Little candies. I think you could even put, we'll make little boxes of gingerbreads. I mean, not gingerbreads. Those little peppermint candies you can get from Dollar Tree soon put them in there. We should do some, I think we could turn this into a, bo a cute little box lid. Doom. Done. Card is done. And of course, when it dries, we're going to put it in here. And I wouldn't just send it to somebody like that. I would say, okay, you have like here, I would give them a little, you know, this little pouch with it, right? That we just decorated. And don't worry, I still have memories and more cards, guys. Where did the other pouch I decorated? Here we go. You could put one of these in there. Or you could, you could add a couple things like here and there, sugar and spice and everything nice. Add a couple little fun things in there for them. 
oops, a different one, so that they can make, so that they can put little labels on their things, put a couple things in there for them, some crafty goodness, and send it to them. So memories and more cards are pretty awesome. I like those. Very, very simple. All right. So after Louise said hi from Ontario, we have Donna Jo came in and she brought this pack. So uh, I wonder if you were, Carol, were you able to get this pack in Australia before us? Because we were able to just get this after the catalog launched. I wonder if you guys have had it longer because we, we were able to, we weren't able to get this during our pre-order. And Frida, I'm glad you found me again. And Katie likes these uh, memories and more cards. Awesome. And um, she loves the stickers. Frida loves the stickers. And hi, Linda. All right, we're going to keep on looking. Let's keep on going with what else is in this pack. Did I show you the other side of this one? I don't know if I did. Wishing you a sweet Christmas. So I had intention of grabbing this sooner, but let me pull it out now. This is retired now. Don't anybody freak out. It's retired. You can't get it, but you're not that you can't get it, but you just can't get it from our store. That's why when you like something, get it. I'm just going to see if this guy won't cut out of this pretty cute because look at that little cute color. I think he's just going to be cute. Yep. Okay. Let me put this. I think my thing's stuck a little. We be jamming. There we go. And I could put this little guy on one of my pouches. So, I mean, there's just so many, there's just so many things you can do with this cool paper. All right. Wishing you a sweet Christmas. And let's see what else we got. Oh, recipe cards. Cookie recipe. I need, everybody keeps asking me for my mom's recipes. Oh, wow. Super cute. So you could either make this a card background or you could just do recipe cards. I think that would be nice. You know what would be nice is give someone, give someone a jar with the cookie, chocolate chips in it, and the different things, and then you could write what to do. So like you just say, add contents and bake and everything. And you can add everything to a jar. Make a jar gift. Okay. Oh, these are nice because they've already sun, done some inking around the edges. Nice note card. Oh, nice background. Did I go over the colors here? Let's not. I don't know if I did. Real red, old olive, early espresso, and cinnamon cider. So you've already seen me use the cinnamon cider. That was this piece here. This is the old olive, and then, of course, the real red and you know, the early espresso. And then there's a piece of cardboard to protect everything. So I'm thinking that those are a winner. You could, you know, little notes, little cards. So that's the memories and more. So now, you like memories and more. I hope you do. I want to show you. Let me close this for a minute. we got a huge mess going on. In the, I'll just leave that there for a second. In the clearance section right now are these. I don't remember the exact price, but they're on clearance. And they're cheaper than they normally are. Okay, so these are called, these are a different color palette. Wonder of the Season Memories and More Card Pack. So if you like card packs, we're going to open these up. I still have more stuff, by the way, Karen, but I just thought I'd show you these next because they are Memories and More Cards as well. So I'm showing you these next, and then I'll get to the rest of my unboxing of the holiday catalog stuff. So on clearance. Now you can see that there's a different color palette here. This is Cherry Cobbler, but you got the same kind of concept. Instant Cards, 3 by 5 and I love using these on things. Here it says partridge in a pear tree, three French hens, two turtle doves, right? It's, it's the 12 days of Christmas song written on the back of that one. So that's pretty nice. So different, different color palette. I can see the cherry cobbler and I'm thinking this could be just jade, but I'm not positive. I'm thinking this, this is garden green here. This, this is, this is definitely garden green. And then this is cherry cobbler. And so I'm pretty sure there's real red in here too, and cherry cobbler, and garden green. So this is part of the Wonder of the Season pack. Wishing you holiday cheer this season. So instant fun. Great stuff. Some trees. I've, I've actually cut this out of the scan and cut before it came out really nice. And I had an element that was last year, one of last year's projects. May you never be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve. Very nice. And you know what's really cool about these cards 
is you can take the mini pizza, mini paper pumpkin boxes, right? And these cards fit a little bit over them. They're a little bit bigger than the paper pumpkin box. And you can make these as lids. So I'll do that. I'm going to probably do a gift packaging series later on in the season after I do my Give It A Whirl series. And I will probably show how to make these as lids for the paper pumpkin boxes. I did that last year. Sending wishes from the North Pole. And there's the back of those. These are clearance on my store, I mean. So just go to my store or go to your store. Go to, go to a, our store. Go to stampinup.com. Go, go to my page linked in the description of this video. And then just click on deals or something at the top. It's called specials and deals or sales and deals or something. So that's what, that's where you find these specials. And then it says clearance. And then go to clearance and then look up memories and more card pack or something. It's, you'll, you'll see it. There aren't that many clearance items. But I have like a lot of them right here because I love ordering clearance items. And I just like putting things like wonder, joy on stickers on things. Now these are some advent calendar stickers. You get two sheets of those. So when you want to do a countdown to Christmas, you know, with your little cute little curvy treat boxes or something, or in this case, it's going to be, since those are retired, we'll be using probably the pillow box dies. The pillow box dies are going to be great for countdown to Christmas, right? So on clearance, wishing you wonder and joy. And this looks like to me like shaded spruce, my, my happy color. I love this. Let's look. This is shaded spruce I made the pine needles with, and I'm thinking that's what this is. Shaded spruce. But if, if anybody's on our site, you can tell us the coordinating colors. If that if I'm wrong, I mean, you don't have to tell us, but if I'm wrong, okay, let's see. Oh, super cool. So you got the bells on one side, and then you got these on the other. And you can just stamp around this, you know, do other things, decorate with it, or just, I like to use these for notes is what I like to do, and little thank yous and stuff. So celebrate this season. This is the one I used for the lid before. I, I punched the corners a little bit. And I put this as a lid to the mini paper pumpkin box. And it worked out really well. Look a nice holly. Oh, and I've cut this out with the scan and cut before. And it cut out really nice. So you had some cardstock holly leaves. I did all that last season. That was so fun. So I'm glad these are back because I kind of, you know, went through a lot of packs of these last year. It's the most wonderful time of the year stickers. Wishing you wonder. Two sheets of those. Two sheets of jingle all the way. Let your heart be light. Awesome. Christmas stickers. Okay, what else we got? Oh, some gorgeous foiled feathers and these are just cardstock so these aren't they're these are not double-sided like the rest of them were double-sided these are not and then you have the sleigh okay two of those two of these merry christmas i mean can't go wrong with that slap that on the front of a card right you're good to go slap that on the front of the memories and more cards and envelopes that we just talked about instant card where is my instant card it's already buried under here. Here, here. we'll grab one. So you could take this and you could put that on here. See? And you have an instant, instant card. And then lastly, these last couple sheets here. Wishing you a wonderful Christmas. I've made these into cards before. If you want to cut these pieces off and make three cards, you'll have the elements. Robin, thank you for your praise to, as my, to my Scan and Cut tutorials. I've used... Scan and cut on these actually memories and more cards I'm showing you right now. Oh, wow. There wasn't just two more left. There was this one and this one. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And another piece of cardboard to protect. I saved these little cardboards for my, when I send somebody a card base, like in my, in color club and stuff. I always save, if you're always wondering about my packaging, Penny, one of my team members, she was worried. She started sending me back the packaging. I was like, no, don't worry. I have an unlimited amount of packaging, girl. I just take packaging out of all these and I give it to my club members and as you can see how much stuff I order. All right, so let's move along and let's see what else is in my box of crafty goodness here. So I bought another one of these, Penguin Place, because this was really fun and this goes with the punch I already had. So I already had, I already had this bundle, but then one of my team members won this as a prize, so I bought another one for myself. So this is the punch that goes with it. I've, you can see I've been using it a lot. Hey, there's my reflection. Okay, so there's a punch and there's Penguin Place. This is a photopolymer stamp set. Okay, so I used, I used it a little bit, then my team member won it and I had used this one, but I'm going to be using this in my Give It A Whirl series. This Be Cool, Be Chill, Be Merry stamp. We're making some Give It A Whirl cards with the Penguin Place designer series paper. Okay, what are these guys? These are free celebration items because as you can see, I ordered at least $150 worth of stuff because we get to, before our discount, 
as a demonstrator. We get a 20% discount to start with and 25 later. Before our discount, if our, if our order is $150, which is pretty easy for me to do, I get 15% in rewards, that's 10% in rewards, and I get three celebration items. So there's a little reward chart back here somewhere, see? $150 is when you start getting rewards, 10% rewards. Pretty cool, right? But right now during celebration, from we get we get free items for each $50 spent. So if your order is only $50, you get you don't get the 10% rewards, but you still get to pick something. This is one of the free things you can pick. I haven't opened this yet, textures and frames. I might give it as a prize, I might use it. It just looks like really fun for my Ink It Up series. I think this would be just fun to make some backgrounds. I love making backgrounds. I love using the Stamparatus, so that'll be fun. Sheep, counting sheep, I can't have enough of these because when these go at the end of celebration, September 30th, people are gonna go crazy. I didn't get the sheep. I forgot to get the sheep. Or the dyes are gone. So I've just been stocking up. I'm gonna be giving them as prizes from now until infinity probably. Eternity, I mean. These are sheep dyes. So these are, while supplies last, the sheep dyes, even though they're free for celebration. And then we'll be making these until the end of celebration. But still, you still gotta order it to get it. I mean, you still gotta, the only way to get them, you can't buy this. It's called a celebration stamp set. You can't buy it, meaning it's free. You can only earn it. All right, let's see what else is in my box of crafty goodness. I took out some clearance items to show you. Oh, there's these. Okay, we can never have enough of these snowflakes, and then I have a bunch of clearance items. Let's see. All right. These are, these are, these are in our catalog. They're part of the Whimsy and Wonder Suite. Gorgeous snowflakes. Wonderful snowflakes, they're called. So you pop them out and use them as embellishments, and then you can save this other little part, the foil part, to die cut. And just so you know, one, one dimensional, you can put one stampin' dimensional back there to hold this up, and you don't have to worry about using a lot of glue on your wonderful snowflakes. Okay, very cool. Okay, so what else is in clearance? Let, let me close these little sheep dies, because if I don't close them, it's going to be hard to use them as a prize when I lose half of them. But let's put them back in their nice plastic case. So right now I'm stocking up on things that I just love and that I know won't be around for that long. And one of the things is these little, these little jingle bells because I'm just kind of adding them to some of my crafty goodness. Tiny jingle bells. So great for packaging. You know, gift packaging. Just add them to your gift packages. Let them jingle, make noise. Okay, we have this one I had cracked, so let me just open this one up. Let me open the bottom of this one up because I cracked it. I cracked the top. But these are called, these are called here, let's see. These are snowflake sequins. Snowflake sequins are great for shaker cards. Okay, so you might want to get some of them. See, I cracked it and they got all over my bag, but it's all good. It's all good. Snowflake sequins. Okay, this is called... Wonder of this. I'm not even sure if all these are still on clearance, but I just I did check on those. I did check on the memories and more card pack before I came on, but I'm thinking these are still there too. Wonder of the season ribbon combo pack. Giant thick. I guess shaded shaded spruce ribbon, shaded spruce ribbon, and you get this gold trim. Okay, this because our suite is retired, so that's why these are on clearance. Okay, this is called the All the Trimmings All the Trimmings Combo Pack. Okay, all and it's this gold trimmed old olive and I'm thinking that might be Poppy Prayed, right? Instead of real red. Let's see. Because this is real red. That looks like it could be Poppy Prayed, but it may be real red, but I'm not positive. Okay, and what else? Oh, these are so awesome. Awesome! Clearance item. Look at this one. These are so heavy. Acorns. And by the way, I'm in the U.S. market. So if those of you guys in Australia watch me, if you're like, these aren't in my clearance section. Well, we have a different clearance section. I'm only, I'm a U.S. demonstrator. Not only a U.S. demonstrator, but what I'm saying is I only can sell to customers in the U.S. So I can only tell you about the U.S. clearance items. I don't know. I can't see your store. But you might have these on clearance in other countries, but these are heavy duty. And they're just going to be great for fall, putting little acorn trinkets on things. I think these are going to go great with there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel stamp set. Let me find that because I, 
I think this would be great with that. It's called Nuts About You. So what I'm doing is I'm looking it up in this. So in our, in our holiday catalog, you can look up things in the stamp index. So it's called Nuts About You. It's not in alphabetical order. It's just, there it is, squirrel, page 49. Page 49. I think by making things with this little squirrel, right, the Nuts About You, or here, where is it? Here. This sentiment, this squirrel, put it on a treat box and hang a little acorn off of it from the clearance section. Hang a little acorn trinket off your treat. Wouldn't that be fun? So that's just, that's something in my head right now. Not finished, but just an idea, a concept in my head. All right. So last clearance item is this paper. So instead of being $15, it's a specialty paper. It's, it's only $9 right now. And you say nine dollars for paper, but wait till you see this paper, and you're gonna go, oh my goodness! No wonder it's only not it's no wonder it's specialty paper, because you're gonna see that the specialty paper has foiling in it. So this this paper is 48 sheets. It's already cut to 12 by 12. I mean six by six. Sorry about that. Six by six. You cannot go wrong when the already papers cut to six by six, because you can make your own little treats with it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, so you can see both sides. So you already have instant winter scenes. I did, a, I did like a hundred things with this last year because you could put snowflakes on the backgrounds. I just did, I used this so much last year as my card backgrounds. So it's, it's just called, oh, by, I should have told you the name, right? I should have told you the name of it. It is called, on clearance, Feels Like Frost because I, I accidentally called it Frosted Floral so many times because it reminds me of that, but it's actually called Feels Like Frost. Specialty Designer Series Paper. on clearance. So that's the one side and there's the other side. So as you can see, if you just cut these into five and a quarter by four inches, then you're going to have instant card backgrounds uh, for the for those scenes that you want for your scenes. But then for the snowflake side, you could have instant little treat holders and stuff by using the snowflake side. So you get 48 sheets. So there's four. This one is four times. You get four of each four of each piece of paper. And so, again, you'll get your 24 different designs in this pack. And I think that it just doesn't do it justice, the catalog, or the, the one picture in the catalog. And that's why I'm showing it to you, because every time I order, I actually pop this in there. And then when, it, when they finally run out, I'll be kind of sad. But it's okay. I'm a hoarder. I'm going to be like, I gotta, I'm going to definitely put these in some of my kits coming up, because like, I think I'm already putting this in my Give It A Whirl kit. I know I am actually. I'm giving. I'm putting some of this in the kit because I have ordered so much of this, because I love it that much, and I think we can make some nice winter cards, S some snowflakes and stuff. Okay, I think that's. Oops, look at that piece. Just, I mean, it just comes. These are photo realistic. I mean, these are actual photos made into paper, not just photo realistic, like photo photo backgrounds. Okay, and the last piece would be this. And there's some Highland Heather in there, some retired colors. So when you when you look at these papers on clearance and you say, why would they ever put that on clearance? We have to put things on clearance because we are a sales company. We have to always come up with new products. And there's when I show you the package, you'll see why we have to be on clearance. Because some of the colors used in the paper are no longer here. So we had to put it on clearance. We can't sell it in our regular catalog. So for example, Balmy Blue Brushing, Blushing Bride. Highland Heather's here. Knight of Navy here. Pretty Peacock. Pretty Peacock is a retired color. Purple Posy's a retired color. So is Rococo Rose and Seaside Spray. Smoky Slate and Whisper White. So four colors. Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, and Seaside Spray are re retired colors. And that's why this is on clearance. However, you can use this side. And it would be fun with the blending brushes and everything. You, could, you don't have to worry about retired colors when you got silver. Okay, lastly, I just want to tell you, and I'm going to end, and I did make, I, I hope that if you guys came on earlier, let's see if I can find the card I made and go back to showing you what I did open up here. Finish saying hello. Hi, Diane. Okay, so she cuts her six by six. Okay, Yvonne says she cuts her six by six paper in half and makes two slimline cards. Great idea. Great idea. And then Debbie's listening to me on her way home from work, and I'm glad you're not you're listening and not 
watching and just listening because that's good. So as you're driving and Melody, hello and okay, Debbie's driving. I have a card in here. I was going to just kind of let you look at the card we made, but it's already in my typical fashion. I have buried it alive here on my table. So you got to see all this cool stuff today and we'll just leave it at that. I don't know where the card is we made or the pouches we made. Here's one of them. Here, here's something we made. I found it, found it, found it. It's unearthed. Here you go. So today in the unboxing, we opened up the gingerbread and peppermint memories and more cards. We made this and we, and I showed you how to just take the stickers and decorate a couple diaper treat, diaper fold treat pouches that I made using the D gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper. So lastly, I have a paper share. If you'd like to try these different papers, I have two paper shares and I'm going to be, you know, closing them when I, when I just kind of probably in the middle of the month, I'm just trying to get my stuff, see what I have. Then I'm going to put down the final numbers on them and then I'll close them up. So they'll be open for probably another week. Holiday designer series paper share. And then we have a deluxe a deluxe paper share. Both of these are linked in the description, but I, that's what I've been waiting for. Blackberry Beauty specialty paper is what I've been waiting for. And I package up, I'm gonna show you how I package these things up because I have a couple examples of that. I'm not really finished with all the paper share, but here's how I package it up. So for example, cause I'm not gonna do a separate video on this. There's too much going on, but I'm just gonna show you like deluxe paper share. I package it up with the six, I cut everything in six by six. This is the whimsy and wonder, okay? I've gone for these before in other videos. So you get to get samples of each. And you will get to, let's see. I'm just trying to find how I, how I label them. I want to show you how I label them. Here you go. See how I put things in packages and I label them? Stampin' Up Deluxe Holiday Share with all, the, with all the product numbers. This has taken me a very long time to prepare. I don't know if my shimmer vellum is in here, but we have black glitter foil, for example. Some of the silver specialty foils, as you can see, are pretty cool. Okay, you can see how I package up the, which one would this be? Peaceful Place Specialty. This, what I'm showing you right now is my deluxe share. Peaceful Place Specialty. Or actually, no, this is not my, this is my regular share. Because I'm, I do give you six sheets of this in the regular share. And the Peaceful Place Specialty. That's back here. See, I do give it to you six sheets in the regular paper share. But then you get 12 sheets of the specialty paper in the deluxe paper share. But isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous! And this is just black and white and gray, I guess. Black and white paper. I mean, but it's gorgeous because of the silver foiling in it. I'm just trying not to get these out of order, but still showing them to you. So if you want to participate, it's open right now. It's all in the description of this video, and that's kind of how I package it. And we're just going to end with that because I have so many things I could show you, but... I'm not going to re I've, I've shown you these during different unboxings before, I think. Maybe I haven't shown you this white velvet paper, but maybe the red velvet paper you have seen. We'll probably use some of these in upcoming projects soon and make some tags and things. But this is the velvet paper. You get samples of these cut in six by six. A couple of them got a little bent. A couple got bent in shipping, but I'm not worried about it because I'll use those ones myself and give you the ones straight as possible. But here's some red velvet paper. It's flocked. It has flocking on it. This cork paper, I'll show you something made with that when I show you my next paper shares. Brush metallic cardstock. Because I, I have this in the paper share. Somebody, not paper share, cards, card share. Somebody used this as a background in one of the cards. So I'll show you that. All right, well, that's all for now. This is the Paper Chef. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and lots of ideas for what to do with these new products and products on clearance as well. Have a great day and thanks for coming.